Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to see if a computer can actually boil water. Let's just say you're stuck in the apocalypse or some sort of contagions going around or some virus and it's very difficult to get water and you come across some, let's say, dirty water which could be radioactive, germs in it and so forth and you need to sterilise it and the only way to do that is to boil it. You don't have any wood, all you have is some old computers around. Well, what we're going to do is basically put this water on top of a CPU and see if it will boil and obviously if it boils that means it's pretty much sterile okay so as you can see we've got your CPU here it's got no thermal paste on it it's completely clean um, the machine is powered up it does work without a cooler on there um, we have done tests in the past if you click on the info link at the top you'll be able to see them but in basics is uh, the temperature of this chip goes well above 100 degrees celsius so in theory we should be able to boil water and it might take a while for it to warm up but we should be able to do it um, so what i'm going to do first of all is to stop water spitting and so forth everywhere i'm just going to put a cloth just around the socket just loosely you can still see the socket there the next job is to get the thermal paste um, the thermal paste we're using is from Xilance if you've not heard of Xilance before it's basically a be quiet company I'm going to put plenty on there because I'm guessing the bottom of the glass jug I'm going to be using isn't going to be 100% flat so let's okay so we've got the thermal paste on there here's our little jug of water we've got roughly about 175 mil of water here so you can back just see it there and we're going to put that directly over the top of the cpu and the paste should allow it if we move it around a little bit get a decent connectivity with the actual CPU as well. It's a little bit wobbly on there so we may find that the jug is a little bit oversized. It is making contact so well that's a good start. So what we're going to do now is swing over so you can see the screen. Here we go. And the reason why we're not doing a screen grab instead is because I want you to actually be able to see what we're doing there we go uh, and don't think we're actually faking it is probably the best way of putting it so obviously we need to get the CPU running as hot as possible so first thing I'm going to do is get in hardware info up so we can measure the temperature of the processor which you can see on the screen just about now loading up and then on top of that we're going to run Passmark burning test, which is a, an old program that I've been using, uh, but it, what it does, it allows all the uh, the cores to basically get full 100% stress. So I'm going to start by checking the temperature now. Oh, there we go. So the CPU is running currently at roughly 49 degrees so that is quite warm already so that's going to start warming the water up for sure so if I start this this is going to stress test the processor flat out and we're going to see how hot that CPU is getting up to so the CPU is suddenly getting up to 60 degrees 66 70 and it's going up so it's going up by a few degrees every second so which is good so at the moment it's up to about 72 degrees it doesn't seem to be getting much hotter than that at the moment but it'll probably just jump up again after a few seconds okay yeah so we're up to 80 degrees now that's 80 degrees celsius so we're not far off that 100 degree mark it's taking its time because obviously you have got water sitting on top which that water is going to be cooling the cpu down at somewhat if i put my finger in there the actual water is actually quite cool still um so it's not actually warming up much at the moment i have a feeling it's going to take a good little while before it actually does warm up
Right, the CPU's just hit 91 degrees, which is good. And what we'll do is keep checking every five minutes or so what sort of temperature this is running at and see how long it takes to get that water boiling. Obviously you know when it's boiling because it's going to be a bit bubbling everywhere or in theory if it gets that hot. Okay the CPU is now hitting 100 degrees so that should be hot enough for it to actually boil uh, so that's pretty good uh, and we are starting to get a few little bubbles uh, on the bottom of the glass which is a good sign that it's getting very hot. The water though in general is probably about room temperature at the moment that's after five minutes so I think this is going to take a little while but it does seem to be getting there. Okay the CPU is hitting again of roughly about 100 101 degrees we're about 15 minutes in now the water is actually warmish at the moment so it's still bearable to touch there is a bit of steam on the outside of the glass itself so we are getting a little bit there so that's showing that obviously it is evaporating slightly from the bottom it is starting to warm up and getting to the point where hopefully it will start boiling sooner or later. Um, but we have got uh, a good temperature from the CPU which is fluctuating between 100 and 101 degrees Celsius. Uh, and that should be enough to get the water boiling or as close to it as possible. Uh, which is good news. Okay we're still running at that 100 degrees plus temperature. Uh, the glass is completely misted up now. You can actually see the bubbles in the bottom. They're not micro bubbles anymore. They've got a little bit bigger uh, and some of them are starting to flow to the surface. So it's getting really hot. It's too hot to touch now. Uh, but I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see a little bit better. I'll stick some B-roll on as well for you. Okay, yeah, so it's getting pretty hot in there. It's been about 45 minutes now. You can see there's thick droplets all around the glass itself. Uh, so that's good. The bubbles in the bottom are quite big now. You can actually get a little bit of steam coming off there. Might be hard to see with that green cloth there. But there is a bit of steam coming off the actual top of the glass. Um, Let's just zoom in a little bit just so you can see a bit better. You can probably see there the water mo uh, droplets all around the glass as we focus into different areas. So it's getting hot. I wouldn't say boiling, but I'm guessing that must be running ooh, probably around about 80 or 90 degrees at the moment. So I'm guessing sooner or later we should suddenly start getting some big bubbles in there hopefully if this is getting hot enough okay well it might be hard to see but there is quite a bit of steam coming out of this this has been going for about an hour and a quarter an hour and a half and this seems to be as hot as the water's going to get it's on the fraction sort of on the edge of it completely boiling so it's not boiling as such but is as close as you're going to probably get don't get me wrong if you used probably a slightly different processor which is probably able to get a little bit hotter without crashing which is the biggest issue then maybe you'll get it bubbling a lot more but as you can see there there is a bit of steam coming out from it uh, which is a good sign that obviously the liquid's evaporating which does mean it is hitting 100 degrees at some point um, a lot of people will probably say in the comments, oh, you should use the Threadripper or an AMD or whatever. We use the Intel G5 400, and the reason why we use such a low-end processor is if you generally use a high-end processor without a cooler, it'll get up to 100 degrees and then cut out really quickly because it gets too hot too quick, and then it just basically fries itself with a lower-end processor you're able to work it flat out and then it's able to get up to that temperature uh, without it crashing or less chance of it ca crashing if done properly. But overall I'd say the test is a partial success.